Hello, this is Sheila Weber. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the settings on Google Scholar so that when you have a results list from Google Scholar, you can see which articles are free to you because the University of Sheffield has paid for the subscription. So here I am on Google Scholar, scholar.google.co.uk. Then I'm going to click on settings. You get this results screen. And there's various options, and the one that I'm going to be talking about today is library links. Now, I've already set up my library links for the University of Sheffield. Um, obviously, when you start, you won't have done that. By the way, here I it can tell I'm from Sheffield. Um, I've logged into Muse already. So if you just type Sheffield in here and search... It gives you there the two options, Sheffield Hallam University and University of Sheffield. So obviously the one that you want to tick, if it isn't ticked already, is the University of Sheffield. If I now go back to and then save, yes, remember to save the option, so click there. And it'll take you back to the main screen. So if I put in a search, I'm searching for the phrase information literacy and information management occurring in the same document and click search. You'll see down here it tells you um, where you're getting the full text from. So here you'll see it says find it at Sheffield, there find it at Sheffield. That means that Sheffield University Library subscribes to this particular journal and you're going to be able to get a copy um, by following that link. In other cases, um, you, you might also be able to get free copies. For example, this one, the PDF from Queensland University of Technology, they have um, a repository of open access materials. So in fact, you'll be able to get it from there. But it's a good idea to look there down this column first of all, rather than just necessarily clicking on the link there. So if I click at Find It at Sheffield, this is Workplaces Experience of Information Literacy. Then on the screen here, what it's done is search the catalogue. It says that the full text is available. And so I click here on the link. So look down here and click in the link. And there you are, you have the article. Um, and you it's free to you, so you can um, click through and see the whole thing. And for if you want to download the PDF. So there you are. So that's how you change your settings on Google Scholar so that you can easily tell which of the articles are free to you because the University of Sheffield Library subscribes to them.